when Thomas Jefferson was designing his tombstone. He asked that only three things be put on it. One was that he was the author of the Declaration of Independence, he was the author of the Virginia Bill of Rights, and he was father of the University of Virginia. No mention of being Secretary of State, President of the United States, because as he said, those are things that other people did for him or to him. He wanted to be remembered for what he had done. He had the right idea that our life is basically, or the story of our life is the life of what we do, what we choose to do, not so much what happens to us. You have to always keep this in mind, because we live in a very imperfect world. We're going to be subject to a lot of unfair people and untrustworthy people. Just a lot of imperfect situations, but we have to learn how to develop the perfections in the midst of an imperfect world. That's the story of our life. To what extent are you developing your generosity, your virtue, your discernment, your compassion, your goodwill and equanimity, your truthfulness? These are the issues that are really important. So regardless of what other people do or say or think, if they send bad things to you, you don't have to accept them. If something bad comes your way, just let it drop at your feet. You don't have to pick it up and throw it back. What other people do to you, what they throw at you, that's their business. It's what you're throwing around. That's what really matters. So what are you throwing around with your thoughts, your words, and your deeds? Hopefully you're throwing good things, leaving good things behind in the world. As for the, the bad things that come your way, just think of them as past bad karma, and this is a chance to let that cycle of karma stop. Otherwise it just keeps going around and around and around and never comes to an end. The Buddha's image of living in the world is like a lotus. The lotus grows in the mud, but its flower comes up through the mud and goes in the water. The flower comes up through the water and comes out above the water. When it opens up, there's no mud on the lotus, there's no water. Even, even the water falls on the lotus. It beads up and then just rolls right off. So try to think of that as you go through, through life, as you go through the world. There's going to be a lot of mud and a lot of water out there in the world, but don't let it stick. What sticks is what you do and say and think. So make sure that all of that is as skillful as you, as you can make it. Now, the story of your life is the story of the perfections.